write a Valentine's Day card to everyone in my class. <laughs> I get that they don't want to get their feelings hurt, but why do I have to write a card to the person who pushed me down at recess and made fun of me? <laughs> Am I really supposed to believe that when they give me a card, they really want to be my Valentine? <laughs> my older sister thinks that this is where kids first learn to lie about their feelings in a relationship. She says it helps prepare us for marriage. Whatever that means. <laughs> pirates and Indians, but I saw a wonderful thing. High over the lagoon, I saw the loveliest great white bird. Look, it's flying this way. It looks weary and it keeps moaning. Poor Wendy. I think there are birds called Wendy's. See, here it comes. Look how white it is. Hey, there's Tinkerbell. She's trying to shoot the, she's trying to hurt the Wendy. She says Peter wants us to shoot the Wendy. Out of the way, Tink, I'll shoot it. I shot the Wendy! I shot the Wendy! <laughs> Peter will be so pleased. <laughs> okay, so for example, wait. Right now, for example, some immigrants need to come to Canada. But it's like when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right? Um, and you told him to RSVP. Thank you. And I told them to RSVP because it was a sit-down dinner, but people came that, like, did not RSVP, so I was totally bugging. <laughs> anyway, I had to haul my butt to the kitchen, redistribute food, squish an extra place settings, but by the end of the day, it was the more the merrier. And if the government could just get to the kitchen and rearrange some things, we could certainly party with whoever. And may I please remind you, it does not say RSVP on the CN Tower. <laughs> Either that, or I'm just getting bigger. 
Never line on one. Never line on one. What's your emergency? Got kidnapped by pirates? Can you be more? Can you give more detail? Well, if he's limping on a peg leg, he's probably Long John Silver. <laughs> but if he has a hook, he's probably Captain. Oh, he has a hook and a peg leg. Oh dear. <laughs> Please hold. Never line on the one. What's your emergency? You're being harassed by a mermaid. <laughs> Dreadful. Please hold. <laughs> Never learn on one. What's your emergency? You're stuck in Skull Cave and the tides about coming? Oh, you poor dear. Please hold. Never learn on one. What's your problem? Your robot's falling apart and a TikTok crocodile is attacking you? Oh no. Please hold. Never learn on one. Oh! Hey, Thumbelina. How you doing, girl? <laughs> He did? Why? You gotta dunk that, Tom. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. No, I'm not busy. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Woo! When I was little, I went to Magic Kingdom. I went on this ride called Snowy Scary Adventures. I was only five, so I was expecting happy adventures with Snow White, a few cute doors, singing birds, and an old lady holding an apple. I got an eerie feeling as I got onto the ride. Where's Snow White? Where are all the dwarves? After the ride, somebody told me that the ride was supposed to make you feel as if you were Snow White. What the? I don't want to be Snow White. That's some scary stuff. But there I was, trapped on the ride, crashing into walls, being dragged through the dungeon with scary images of the evil witch. When I got off the ride, my brother was laughing at how terrified I was. So he bought me a princess tiara. Gee, thanks. Next time, I'm heading straight for Space Mountain. <laughs> sure, I'm beautiful. I have perfect eyelashes, and I'm an inspiration to like millions of little girls. I happen to be a teenage fashion model, ballerina, ice skater, tennis pro. I Skater, teacher, artist, singer, da dancer, actor, <laughs> and all that other stuff. <laughs> My life is not as good as, good as everyone thinks it is. You want to know one reason? Your arms. They don't bend. Have you ever tried putting on a shirt when your arms can't bend? <laughs> oh, like the little things like Colin Ken are nearly impossible.